how to add a voiceover to video in Canva for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you guys how you can add a voiceover to presentations as well as to videos on Canva. So let's get into it. Now, a lot of people, when they wonder about adding a voiceover to video, Usually it's because they want to add a voiceover to their presentation and they just want it to be presented in the form of a video with a pre-existing voiceover. Now, there are multiple different ways that you can incorporate a voiceover in Canva and I'll show you guys exactly how. So first I'll show you directly how to do this in a presentation. And then later on, I'll show you guys, if you have a MP4 video, how you can actually use a voiceover in that as well. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you're going to do is head on over to Canva and open your design of choice. Now, once you open up your design, you can go on ahead and go into the left panel over here. And in your leftmost panel, you can click on Uploads. Once you click on uploads, you can click on record yourself. Now, once you click on record yourself, this screen is going to appear. On the top right, it's going to show you guys what you want to record, your camera, camera and screen or only screen. So because I only want a voiceover, I can go on ahead and choose what I want to share with Canva. So I only want to share the screen like this so this is what canva.com can see now the next thing you're gonna do is allow access to your microphone now i have allowed access to my microphone and if you can choose which microphone you want you have the option of your built-in microphone or any other device that you might have connected Plus, if you are on a Apple ecosystem, you usually have your iPhone's microphone that you also have access to. Now, to get started, what we're going to do is we're going to stop sharing and we are going to allow our Canva to have full access of our screen, of the entire screen. I'll just click on share over here. And now after that, I only want to maybe display my screen and I might not want my camera. So I'll remove the camera from here and I will choose my microphone. Now, this is my entire screen. If I only want the presentation to appear, so if I don't want, you know, this to appear on top, I can exit the studio and then go into record yourself and then simply remove the camera from here. So for that, you again have to go into the top right, go into camera, and then just select no camera like this. Now, you can move this around, and because you've turned it off, you have, you know, a blank icon. Now, from here, I can simply click on record like this. You'll have a timer, aesthetic air, and then whatever you want to talk about. So let's say it is branches and history of aesthetic air. The mission of Aesthetic Care is to provide safe and effective industry-leading treatments that offer real results without compromising on safety and satisfaction about Aesthetic Care. So I can also pause this as I am recording by clicking on the pause button and I can move towards the next page and get started with my recording as well. You can also delete the recording. So this is a consecutive recording. I'll show you guys another method of recording which is individual recording. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record each audio clip for each slide individually. Aesthetic Air, Branches and History. Aesthetic Air has three branches and their mission is to provide safe and effective industry-leading treatments. And just like that, now I can record for the second section about Aesthetic Air. They specialize in hair removal and cosmetic surgeries. Now, Take a look at the executive manager of Aesthetic Care. And now I can also pause it in between, but if I click on done right now, I can click on save and exit. So once I click on save and exit, you will see at each individual slide, I have a audio clip and you will see your little icon over here. You can just move this icon to a zero size like that. And you can also just, you know, really place it basically 
like this and reduce the transparency to zero. And you will see this icon will appear on the top right, which will basically enable you to know wherever you recorded the voiceover for your presentation. And if you click on present and present it full screen and you click on present, this will automatically play your recordings as you go. So you guys can see that my recording is playing in the background. Now, what happens if you do this for a video? So I'll show you guys what happens in that particular case. So I'll just go into videos and we are going to take this template as an example. So our new collection is out, customizable eyewear for fashionable and comfortable vision. Now, what we're going to do over here is we are going to pretty much follow the same steps where we're going to go into uploads on the left then click on record yourself. Now, over here, we're going to turn off our camera and you will see your little icon will appear once again. You can make this uh, transparent so you really don't have to worry about this icon. And now I can go on ahead and proceed with my recording. Our new collection is out now. Customizable and fashionable outerwear. And you will see the duration for your videos is going to remain paused. So you can actually re record a extended or a shorter version of the recording. And you can expand your voiceover in accordance to that. So what happens if your Let's say that if your video is longer or your voiceover is shorter, this is a really long video, but if I was to take an example and I'll show you guys an example of a simple video as well by going into videos and we are going to take a simple video and I'll just use a really simple blank canvas. Yeah, like this one over here, I'll customize this. And you will see this has a couple of frames, but we're only going to keep one video frame. And this is three seconds in total. And if I expand the video, you will see we can, you know, actually customize uh, the length. It's a bit longer if we do change the duration. But you will see that it's a single page. And you guys can see it's pretty much a repetitive video. So. If I record a voiceover for this video, if it's a 10 second voiceover, I can choose to place it in the center, I can choose to place it at the edges, or choose to crop it accordingly. And you will see on the bottom, you actually will have audio. So you can delete the audio from the bottom. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go into the left panel and go into your uploads. And once you go into the uploads, you can go into record yourself. And from here, what you're going to do is you're going to close your camera and click on record. Now, from here, just record the audio as you would like it to appear with your video. Even if your video is not playing, it does not matter uh, because you're going to be able to set the audio accordingly to your video. So if you want to look at the text that is present at your video, you can look at it via your phone. Then click on done and then click on save and exit. Once you click on save and exit, you will see your audio recording. Now in your audio recording, you will see your little icon and you can reduce the transparency. If you don't want the video icon, which most people do, you know, want a simultaneous record, you can just click on record yourself under audio. And once you do that, you will see that sometimes your icon is still going to appear because Canva currently does have that glitch where audio and video recordings are pretty much the same, even if you do them the same way, but I hope this does get resolved. And then you can only record your audio and get done with that. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with audio recordings on videos in Canva. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I will catch you guys in the next video.